Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Dior Dway Heel Slides. If you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Trin. Use my hashtag CDRHolics. If you guys want to share your post with me, I'll come like a comment on your photo. If you suggest a video down below and I choose a video, I'll give you a shout out. So all you have to do is suggest a video suggestion and also comment on your social media or your small business. I'll give either or a shout out. And I do have a TikTok. It's at Trish Trin with two H in the end. And without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So today's video, I'm going to review and talk about the sizing, the price, and if these shoes are worth it. These are the Dior Dway Heeled Slides. And yeah, so first let's talk, uh, first let me show you guys the shoes that I have. So the first one here are the heeled versions. Mine is in navy blue. It says Christian Dior Paris. And then I have the heel version. And then right here is the Christian Dior Paris strap. And then I also have another color. This one is um, a metallic... Let me see what it's called again. This one is the Multicolor Metallic Thread and Cotton. And it's also the same thing. Also the heel version. It's Christian Dior Paris. Heel version. And then here is the Christian Dior strap. So first, let's talk about price. If you want to get the heel version, this one is called Dway Heeled Slide, which is 830 USD. But if you want to get the flat sandal version, it's 730 USD, so $100 difference. Uh, the sandal version are cheaper, and then the heel version are a little bit more expensive. And then now let's talk about uh, sizing. So I know sizing is a bit confusing, so I'm going to tell you guys now that these shoes are confusing. So, um... These shoes, at first, if they're brand new, the strap right here is super, like, really, really hard. I would ask Dior, like, your essay to have Dior stretch your shoes for you. Or if you want to do it yourself, I would recommend, like, massaging it, you know, pushing it to the side, uh, like, down, up and down, all, like, all over. Because this part is really hard and you want it to be, like, a little bit softer. Um, but anyways, because you, when you put your feet inside, your toes, they don't really reach the top. So you kind of have to like snug it in there. So for sizing, these are the first ones I got. These are six and a half, which are 36 and a half. And then these other ones I got, which are a six, right? I know that it's confusing. Um, but yeah, you really have to massage it in. You want to like get it stretched. Um, but for sizing, if you are a size six in US, then you will be a 36. Um, but then if you want another half size out, it will be 36 and a half. So this one is 6, this one is 6 and a half, 36 and a half, and I don't really know why I got a different size. It just kind of depends on the shoes, the way it's made, some are different, so it doesn't matter which size you get, it's just whatever you really prefer because honestly, they both fit me perfectly, they look good, my feet, my toes, they look fine. Um, honestly, if there isn't like the size that you want, you can honestly go half a size higher and it still works because the strap is a little bit snug. That's why I said you have to stretch it out. But honestly, any size works. For me, a 6 or a 36 and a half. It just depends. Whatever you want. If they don't have 36, you can go up to 36 and a half and it works. So yeah, that is sizing. Sorry if that's confusing, but yeah, you can do your size or you can go half a size up and it works. Trust me, it works perfect. Um... Now let's let me read you guys what it says online about these shoes. So there are actually a lot of different kind of designs. There are these ones which are original, the navy blue. Um, last time in my other video, my shopping vlog, I tried on the silver tone one, and they're so beautiful. It's just I feel like gray for shoes are kind of hard to like match with clothing. So I do recommend getting the navy blue because from far away it does kind of like look like black. So I feel like those are like the perfect size, or uh, the perfect color. So these are called the Dway Hued Slide, or if you want the um, flat version, which is called Dway Slides. Um, this one is blue cotton embroidery, 830 USD. And the description online says, The Dway Hued Slide presents a timeless and emblematic silhouette. The blue slide's upper displays an embroidered Christian Dior signature, making it an immediate statement piece. So like that way everyone knows that these shoes are Christian Dior. It says it on the strap right here. Uh, featuring a 5cm block heel, 
The slide leads a modern touch to any look. Uh, Christian Dior embroidered signature on the strap, so you saw it there. It is matte leather in sole, rubber sole with engraved star. Christian Dior lucky symbol because all Dior shoes on the bottom, it has the star on there. It could either be a pin star, like an actual small pin, or it's like engraved on there. Like for these shoes, it's engraved with the star symbol on the bottom. Does my camera want to focus? There we go. The star right here. Sorry, my shoes are super dirty. I wear them a lot. And it says that they recommend you ordering your normal shoe size. So like I said, I'm a 36, so I would order a 36. But I still recommend getting a 36 and a half, like half up. It's still a perfect size. I love both sizes. Uh, and it's made in Italy. Uh, but yeah, that is all it says for the description. I really, really love these Dior shoes. They are one of the most comfortable Dior heel shoes. Um, for me... I don't know why, but slingbacks, they hurt my toes so much. Even if I get like the fishnet versions, I don't know why, if, is it because like my toes are squished in the front, it just hurts my toes a lot or either I'm not really used to wearing like those kind of heels. Like for these ones, they're super comfortable because they're like wedges in a way. That's why they're much easier to walk with. And yeah, I have no idea why. I just feel like the slingbacks hurt me too much. But these shoes are really, really comfortable. Your toes are aired out, it has a strap right here, it has like these wedges heels, super easy to walk in, and it comes in a lot of styles. And also there are these Toile de Gide right here, I'm going to show you guys a photo. That I I actually wouldn't really recommend getting Toile de Gide. I wouldn't say you're buying it for Toile de Gide, you're really buying it for the color. Because the only thing that people can see once you wear the shoe, all they can see is the strap right here, which would be a pink, pink Dior shoes. With Christian Dior and they can't see the Toile de because your feet is obviously on this thing right here so your feet is covering the design so really you're just buying the color of the shoe if you guys know what I mean like right here you have this like beautiful like rose gold metallic color but really you're just buying this strap because your feet is covering so this will be like this color is what you are buying you can see yeah I hope this video was helpful if you guys want me to review any other item, just comment down below. And that is end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Trish Trin. Use my hashtag CDRHolics. Suggest a video down below. Take a look at my TikTok and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!